It was like saying, like, black people are in deep trouble. Mm-hmm. That, well, I don't know if you watched the whole thing, but it's out there. It's still out there. Uh, I think Claude, I think Atkins, uh, Atkins' son, or uh, Claude Atkins, uh, Atkins' son, was black people in deep trouble. Mm-hmm. I was looking at the real, like, the economy. You know, cause hearing all this kind of stuff about the money, the euro, the marrow, um, they was talking about that a lot. The U.S. dollar, Farrakhan was talking about, and the Honorable Elijah Muhammad. Political system. You're talking to get some type about. Of um, hold on for a moment. Yeah, talking about. Uh, talking about the uh, put, put on pause for a moment. That looks interesting. But uh, just about paper, getting out of paper. You know, and, and as we study the Torah, the Orit, Minba, the Torah reading, the Torah portion, it would come like this, like the kind of the beginning, the end, the Aleph, Tau, or the Omega, Alpha, depending on how you look at it. If you read it from dyslexic, it's Tau, Omega, Alpha, but if you read it properly, it's Aleph, Tau, or Aleph, um, the Aleph, Alpha, Omega, this Simchat Torah. But just for the last even two or three years, we started to really learn more about um, financial, e economic systems, and therefore, in economics, it's finance. Most people can't don't know the difference between economics and finance, and we didn't know either. But we started looking, at it, and then what do most of the nigguses or niggas say? They say, "Oh, I'm making paper." But now all the, you know, people who are consulting with the insiders at the top of levels of this whole externalized hierarchy, the seclorum system, are saying, and giving the warning to their people who they pass on some secrets, like, you better get out of paper. You know, you got to get out of paper. Mm -hmm. I'm just beginning to look at it, you know, <laughs> watching it. <laughs> and it's kind of like a little funny on a certain level, but it's kind of like the funny of the sense of Psalm Psalm too funny, you know, not not Psalm that's too funny, but the Psalm 2 has something interesting where it says um, about how Adonai have them in derision, you know, they're in derision, you know, and, and we see a lot of this when we check out some of these um, kind of Illuminati sources, Yemiyas Chenek Zemin, you know, that there'll be a time, perilous times and distressing times. And Yeshua says to keep that shalom, keep that salam, keep him, keep beholding him. So we stay at peace. And our economic system is not really limited or based on that. So I've been trying to talk about tribes. That I think Joel Kotkin book. It seems like some of the, some of the Jews, the European um, Jews that we like to read, seem to be named Joel. I don't know. Um, that could just be with those two, Joel um, Yoel Natan and Joel Kotkin, right? But Joel, the book of the uh, Tindabita EUL, has an important prophecy there. It talks about the pouring out, how he will pour out his Holy Spirit upon the sons and the daughters, but then we move into the age of Aquarius and there's a pouring out there too. So, But you see that there's a pouring out of wrath upon the children of, of disobedience, the children of disobedience get the wrath poured out on them. And this is kind of like what we see in the seclorum with this whole economic, financial system, the Federal Reserve, $40 billion, and buying up everybody's mortgage, and all kind of crazy stuff, and hyperinflation. Alex Jones been touching on a lot of it, and he had this guy on there, this um, pastor, um, Lindsey Williams, and he has a DVD, Secrets of the Elite. He has like an elite friend. Maybe he had two of them, but... You know, he spent some time as a chaplain or whatever, maybe the U.S. military. But anyway, he's passing on, and he seems to have been right with a lot of his kind of um, 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 predictions or what was told to him. He said he's not a prophet, but th those who are the elite who are making this known. And people say, why they got to make it known? And that's a whole ancient thing right there. Um, we first heard about it in certain levels of Islam, which means it came from Judaism, Yehudinat, which means that we have our Ethiopic references if it's true, just like the whole thing about the fall of the angels and uh, the sister of, 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 of Cain and Abel, 
in our Ethiopic sources we have that, but most folks might know it through the Islamic sources. But anyway, that before they do anything, the Almighty, the Sustainer, put them under the demons and their men and people that they have to reveal it, in a sense. Before they do anything, they have to kind of like, almost like warning. It's almost like when we play like hide and seek in Sesame, or, or what's his uh, um, what's his, uh, what's his name, Sam or something, Simon Says, that's how Simon Says, where you say, um, you count down and you say, well, I'm about to come looking for you. I'm going to look for you. So everybody's like hiding and peeking and hiding and stuff. And he's already or not, here I come. And then he going to turn around and that whole, how that whole game plays. It's similar to what a lot of these elites, or so-called elites or insiders, globalists or whatever, seclorimists, alamawiyan are, are, are saying and doing too. So mm, the main point I'm trying to say is get our paper. You know, we always hear the niggas, you know, blacks and, and, and those in the inner cities, the ghetto, those kind of lost sheep, or the lost sheep or the Jews saying uh, something about black Jews, those who don't know or don't recognize themselves as Jacob, so they don't recognize the black Jack. You see what I'm saying? Black Yaak or black Jacob. So they're talking about making papers. And then it seems strange, but isn't it interesting that now the, the so-called globalists are trying to get out of paper? And if you look at the black spending, um, the, the black people's economy in, in the U.S. at its high point is like on a global level is like um, the ninth largest. I think I heard it was the ninth largest, just the black people's so-called economy. You hear a lot of the Afro, the half eccentrics and the Afrocentrics and others in the black liberation talk about, you know, buying black and spending black and. In principle, that's true, but there's a there's a ergum, there's a curse, you know, and it's a generational curse, and that's where the the ID, the the the, the real ID, as the Israel ID of black people comes in, right? So under the curse, ones don't see it. And Rudolf Windsor, he wrote a couple of very good books, um, from uh, Babylon to Timbuktu, which lays down. The, which you say is like the first book, it lays down the history, the foundation. And then um, the the second book, or in our studies, the second book would be um, The Valley of the Dry Bones, which speaks about um, Tinbete, his uh, Ezekiel, or Hizkiel, uh, Ezekiel, the prophet. And chapter 37, where it speaks about these bones, these bones, the Valley of the Dry Bones. And you see how it's a popular kind of motif now, even among rap artists, hip hop artists, and, and among black folks of this of this generation gap. Um, you see they're wearing a lot of the skull and bone symbology, you know, on as as hip hop gear and as what's hip and a lot of the musical artists and the music business, they're doing this too. But one common thing everyone is talking about is making paper. You know, making paper is a euphemism for, you know, making money. But the money, people don't really understand the economic system or what is money. And there's a lot of vids out there that been touching on that. And many of them are on YouTube and out there on the Internet and different sites. You can find them. But ones probably watch it but only pick up a little bit from it. Don't really pick up the real. Um, the real. They don't really get the real. That we have to get out of paper. You understand? Get out of paper, lost sheeple. You understand? Because it's a time of Jacob's trouble. You understand? Black Jack, the Black Jack trouble. Jacob, Black Jacob, Israel. When we say Jacob, we're speaking of the lost sheeple portion of it. That those who are Israel, speaking of ethnic Israel, the Ethiopian Hebrew Israel, you know, the black Hebrews, ethnicity wise, whether they recognize it or not, they are under that, that, um, Mergem or that ergum, that curse for disobedience. Not that the Almighty cursed them, but that they cursed themselves because of what they chose. Knowing what they know, they still chose to do what they, they do. So the Torah portions, Ainai Rastafari, Sabbatical, and, and, and the Torah portions are teaching us a lot. Teaching us about um, the Beit Israel's true economy, teaching us of his majesty's real economy all right and then we learn a lot about what happens to careless ethiopians too they got kind of mad hoodwink and bamboozle but it all really comes down to um 
first of all, knowing the truth, knowing who we are, knowing our identity, knowing who we are in Yeshua, in the Moshiach, knowing who we are in the King of Kings and His Christ, and recognizing what He has given us, you know, this wisdom, this Tibab, this Hokmah, which is the Orit, the Torah, but it's the new and living way in Yeshua, in our black Lord and Savior. So as we start to learn about the gold and we start to learn about the precious metals and, and the gems and the jewels and all this is is dealing with just the, the, the tabernacle. Now, some will say, well, it's just all spiritual. Well, it begins on the spiritual, the metaphysical and the spiritual. But as it as as it as it manifests, it manifests this this inner wisdom begins to manifest in outer ways spiritual ways, psychological ways, but also physical. So we have to look at the economy in that same sort of fullness. There are spiritual prepositioned resources, psychological, in Yeshua HaMoshiach, the Savior of our souls. So that's, our, that's why it says, um, when you shall hear all these things, see that you be not afraid. You see, that's, we have to make our wills obedient to good influences and to avoid evil, show that greatest wisdom. So we're not afraid by these things. And it says, fret not thyself. You know what I mean? And some say, well, it's hard to do that. It's hard not to fret yourself. Fret yourself. I, I, I can understand if you're faithless and you without our main and you're not beholding him. And, and there's not that marriage of the lamb. There's not that repentance and that birth, that birth again. There's not that knowledge. So you're not really free. So you're like in bondage as a lot of those who are making the paper are in bondage to the making the paper. Now they have to make more and more paper because the paper is devalued. Look at I and I autopsy on um the dollar bill you know saying we did a csi the line of juice society did this csi and the dollar is not completely dead but it, it's 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 being deadened very much very rapidly you know when we speak about the the um illuminati monetary fund a lot of information has come out ones like Zbigniew brzezinski that's how you say his name um he's even been writing books saying that you know, um, too many people, like people begin to know about stuff. And this is like throwing off a lot of their plans. And other banksters have already rushed ahead. And they've, some think that they might have done more than they're able to control. So as, and, and the whole Obama thing is just, he just chorus, he did, did something too about Obama and how some of the elites, excuse me, or the insiders, are against him he it seems like he double crossed him although some of the insiders think of it as a double cross we can remember all the so-called insiders or elite the globalists they divided into different um you know when you see those pyramid thing you see there's different points on the pyramid so forth and so on so some like the younger so-called elite insiders globalists they're more for obama in a sense a lot of them but then you have the older ones, the parents and the grandparents, who are like very pissed off and upset. And they think almost like Obama did them some sort of a, you know, some sort of a double cross, you know, with the, what's going on in the Arab world. And, and maybe he's a Muslim. He has this ring and all this and that and the next thing. So once again, the main message is to get out of paper. You know what I'm saying? So what to get into? We have to get into the, the gold, the silver, the precious gem. But really, we have to come out of Babylon, you know what I'm saying, and we have to enter in the promised land, you know what I'm saying, so we can secure, you know what I'm saying, secure our inheritance. But see, the first level before even that physical level is the spiritual level, is the repentance, the born again, the birth again, the saving of our souls. Because then we have a different mind towards it. Like right now, if people hear this, they're like, yeah, we, well, we still got to make paper because how else can we go to the store and buy the things that we need, so forth and so on. And at a certain level, that is so. You understand? That is so when one is under that curse. You understand? When ones don't really, even when you recognize the truth, there are steps that need to be taken, but it's the knowledge that's the important thing. You know what I'm saying? Come into that unity in the Bain Ha Elohim, in the Moshiach, Yeshua. You know what So you begin to approach these things much different. I was just kind of like thinking about it and almost laughing. Like, wow, get out of paper. I mean, look at the black economy. It's the ninth largest. If it was uh, majority-wise unified, they say ninth. It could be seventh. I think I heard seventh, too. In, in the world, globally. In other words, black people in the Americas, you understand, their potential economy, and this might not even be including 
um, fully the the Carib, the Afro Caribbean, and by extension even the Afro Hispanic. You understand? E- even at a the portion which we say is overtly black or willing to identify with black, you understand? Or the Ethiopian, the Beta Israel, it would be most likely between definitely within the top ten economies in the world, even at its present rate. When you see how the money doesn't even turn over one time, much less twice, much less nine or ten times within the community. And that's what um, I think Claude Atkinson was speaking on in his Black People in America in Deep Trouble. That's that's Jacob. You understand that is Black Jacob. So you have to look at it on the spiritual level. They've been kind of sold out by the idle shepherd, the, these prosperity pimps, right? And so then you have to look at it then on the psychological level. The psychological level, I mean, we already, you know, you could see it almost every day. This is part of also what is hitting up the people from so many different perspectives. So their psychic, they, their psychological level is really weak. You understand? And, and you can see how they approach life and they limit themselves to, like, the ghettos, even though they're making all that paper and could probably do something at a, at a more international level especially linking with the, you know, with the motherland, the fatherland, linking with Africa. You know, but they don't because they're told like, oh, you can't do that. They don't accept you. So there's a lot of they're psyching out. You know, there's a lot of psyching out going on. Even some of the artists that went over there like Nas and um, Pharrell. Mm-hmm. It's kind of interesting, Nas and Pharrell. I was just thinking about just just names and stuff like that but anyway um how they did the thing i think we posted on our web on on the youtubes or whatever where they talking about old oh, africa and you know this and that and the next thing and it seemed like they were shook and I, we know other brothers and sisters who have gone to africa and their testimony is somewhat similar but somewhat different too because their faith is is different than these and those so you can see that one coming in a new birth mentality in, in the re- following the, the Son of Man in the regeneration, you understand, which is the, 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 the new, the Adis, so, you, you understand, the Adis, the Hadis Israel. Mm-hmm. That one see potential in Africa, potential in this global time of, of um, so-called instability, you may ask Chenek, um, Zemin, yeah, so what? You understand, we're not under that, we're not under the curse. See, that's the thing that we have to recognize as Beta Israel, as the children of the Ethiopians who are, who are like the children of Israel. We're not under that curse. We've been there, we've done that. So that's a, a perspective we got to begin to um, grow in, to grow in that grace so we can see how it actually manifest and work works its way out because a lot of folks say okay all these things that we've been teaching what about the economy and the whole point of it is that we sought we try to teach the economy first but ones wasn't even picking up economy what's that see people think economy is the finances but economy is means managing right managing a household that's what the economy means if you look up that word a economicos in the greek managing a household so we are who? What's our, our real ID? You know, Israel ID. We're Beta Israel. So it's the house of Israel. So we have this wisdom. You understand within the Metav Kedus. And one thing that tells us right at the coming out of uh, Egypt. And, not, and for us, it's not coming out of Egypt. Jeremiah, um, Tinbete Aramias tells us in, in chapter 20, I think 23, it speaks about no longer will he say, blesses the Lord, or, or the Lord lived, shall live, which brought the house of Israel out of Egypt, but they said out of the north country. So that's kind of where we're at right now. This is why connected with the sovereignty issues, getting our paperwork so we can exercise even in this um, earth, you understand, our true inheritance. And we have to get to the maritime. Maritime is very, very important. Because we check out who we are, you understand, and what our blessing is, and we start to exercise it. Some foundational documents would be um, the letter of opinion and, and, and the declaration of sovereignty. 
right, of the dominion of the King of Kings and his Christ of the Lions of Society and how that really connects, you know what I'm saying, with the bigger picture. So we have to be familiar with this as well because these laws, these are established laws, you know what I'm saying, and ones will say, well, it's, it's Babylon laws. Well, you know, everything is back to the um, de, de facto and de jure. De facto means basically that's a matter of fact. Right, but it might not be legal. The fact that we, and it was the the jury, it might not be officially recognized fully in law. You understand? But there's also there's also um, backing these things. You understand? With 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 real um, with real power and force. You understand? These things are enforced. You always, it's like, like I often say to some brothers and, and mainly the brothers that you wouldn't let nobody just come in and do anything in your house if you, if you could prevent it. You know what I'm saying? So the same thing, we don't allow this to go on in Beit Israel. See, the word said, can a nation be born? Would a nation be born like in a moment? Mm-hmm. And a nation will be born in a moment. See, according to Yahweh's own Baruchu. Hashem's own will, you know what I'm saying, and, and his own word of prophecy. Not like the state of Jezreel or, or that Israel, but the true Israel according to prophecy. And we'll touch on that as well. But the main message here, once again, is to get out of paper. You know what I'm saying? What we have to really recognize getting out of paper. And we may not be able to fully get out of it, but we need to start to explore the real um I call it like almost like Nollywood in a sense. Nollywood, um, 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 not just currency, but finance and, and the whole global. I'm not talking about getting caught up in these scams. I mean, some people may have got caught up in it and really don't like what happened and really was trying to help some African, so forth and so on. But, you know, even among us, the Nigerian, you know, Jews and Hebrews, you know, we have our different um different orders you, you know what i'm saying and we what we have to first of all honor you know walk with honor and recognize that you understand and begin to 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 make those links even right now you see because almost everybody's over here in america you know was and many of them in our ghetto we see them all the time so forth and so on and really to find out well who's who what's what what's going on you know was for those who are yeah um in the in, in 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 the covenant so that the holy spirit is guiding you that's very important that we're praying and you know before we do anything to really be convicted in the holy spirit you understand know, on it and to recognize what the word says and 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 two or three two or three witnesses practicing these these basic principles but we have to get out of the you know get out of the paper and get back to the silver and the gold mm-hmm even copper and um, brass, you know, even copper and brass are important metals and jewels, you understand? And if we cannot, you know, access that directly, others can. It's, it's, it's business. It's a matter of exchange of, of, of either barter or, you know, other symbolic currencies to be used too. That's why we, we didn't put that vid up there yet. We wanted to put it on... Um, Ethiopian world citizen. So we got to open that, see if we can open that up and, and announce that and, and make that known to ones. Well, we can discuss some of these issues while we still have the time and opportunity to discuss these issues. You know, I know a lot of you all watch these programs and, you know, some of the things we point out and some people are just scared, scared to death in a sense. But that's only because you're still under the curse. Because it says right here, Ahzab Lemon Yaguara Marimalu. Like, why do the Goyim or the heathen, why do they murmur, you know? Why do the heathen rage and people imagine the main thing? But Wogonochis Lemon Kentun Yenagaralu. Why do the different type of peoples, why do they speak um, vanity, you know, telling us that? Oh, there's nothing we can do about it. They got it all sewn up. And they don't know I and I father. They don't know I and I big brother. They don't know Jesus Christos. It says right here, you miserable in the guest start Tenesu, that the kings of the earth, they, they, they rise up. You understand? Alek Ochim, Be'ek Ziyabi Herunna, and the rulers against Yahweh, against Hashem, 
and be Masihu lie against the Lord and his anointed against the King of Kings and his Christ. And D, Silu Tamakaru. Here's the conspiracy. And like this, saying like this, they counsel or take counsel together. Tamakaru. Maseriachuin in the Betis. Let's cast their cords um, from us and their ropes, right? Gamadachuinim. Kanya in the ta. Let us cast these down. Like there's 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 no higher covenant that they are obliged, you know, because we don't, we they destroyed our name amongst ourselves, and and another has come along, right? Besamai yeminor, the one who dwells in heaven, right? Arusu yiskal that he will laugh. Gietam and the Lord Adonai. Yisalek bachual, and he will have Yisalek abachual, and he will have them in derision. Gietam Yisalek bachual, he will have them in derision. Now, as you read this, this is Mesmor Dawit, Mesmor Hulet. As you read verse five, Bezian Gizeh Bekutau Yinagarachual, close to the the English in that time. In his anger or the wrath, or we read about the wrath, right? He will speak to them, right? Be ma'atum, and in his ma'at, be ma'atum, right? They say hot displeasure, yau kachual, that he will, he will like uh, agitate, you could say, upset them, agitate them. It says, in again, but I, negusain, shom hu. That he has, he has, um, he has, uh, um, to say, appointed his king or, or, or shom, siyume, siyume ekaziavihir, his king. Betek adeso terara ye on my, or in my holy mountain, betzion lai, upon Zion. And we speak about the African Zion. Now, here's the key thing we have to remember. This is also part of our economy. When we begin spiritually, it says, Tizazun inagaralo, uh, the, his command, I will speak. I will speak his command. You understand? To say the commandment, the command, right? That Yahweh, Hashem, has said to me, Ante, Lijene. So each of us, when we read that, we have to really receive that. That he has said to us in Yeshua, through Yeshua, through the Moshiach, that each of us are his, is his child. Right? Aren't you like the children, the Bene Kushim unto me, O Bene Yisrael? Anta Lijene, Ine Zare Waleddehu. And today I have begotten you. Now, as you read on, it says, Lemnen, Lemnen. Beseech or beg of I, Ahzabin, Le Riste, and the nations of the Goyim, Le Riste, Le Riste, for your inheritance. Right? And the nations, the Goyim, the Gentiles, for our inheritance, Yemidrinim, Darcha, and the ends of the earth, Le Gizate, for our dominion, is said to Halo. He has said, to I, male, he has said to I and I, brethren, he has said to I and I, individually and collectively in Christos, in Christ, right? And as you just read through this, it, it makes it so very clear. This is why we, when we hear about what's going on, it's only because we're still looking at it in the curse, you know, and we refuse to get out of paper. We're following this kind of like, it's like witchcraft in a sense. Hocus pocus, oh, I'm making paper, stacking papers, paper, paper. And they're using the music to reinforce that limited paradigm. You understand? And it's their hope that ones continue to, like this, they smoke their own dope and then they kind of like, crash on that. And then this Black Jacob that they are able to exploit again, almost kind of to reboot the iniquity of the Amorite not yet being full. But Guter Zetain, Beberet Beter. That you will rule them with a rod of iron, I think is how it said, or you will keep them, shepherd them, protect them with a rod of iron in the shekla siriyakam tiketek tachuale. That that you will you will shatter them and smash them like a like pottery. 
almost like a record the, the the visual i see here is like you take a record and you just dash the record down and it and and it, and, it, and it shatters right ahunim and now in nant negestat this is what we say to the kings right being witnesses of revelation again says that we must do it again it says lib adergu and it was be conscious have heart don't be heartless have heart right in nant yamidr farajo chim in other words, be um, rebuked, the judges of the of the earth. We hear about all these false judgments and the legal system, but this word has to be spoken to them in order to initiate the spiritual gears for what comes next. Let beferhat to serve Yahweh, serve Hashem with with respect, with reverence, right? Beradim. Yeah, in a kind of a trembling, but the re'ad, the re'adim, but re'adim, but but re'ad, but re'adim des yibalacho. You understand? So to 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 um be happy, but but in like the demons, the demons they know there's one God and they tremble. What more do you do, old man? That's kind of like for them. You understand? Speaking to the kings of the earth, um take a sadsun and take ebelu. To receive his rebuke, receive the rebuke of Kedamawi Haila Selassie. It says, Gita and Daikweta, so that Adonai, so that Yeshua, who is in heaven upon that throne of the Father, the Father bringing all the enemies to the footstool of Yeshua, the Lord hath said to my Lord, Gita and Daikweta, Nantem, Bemen Ged and Data Tefu. You understand? So, so you all in the way, so you, so you don't, so you're not um, destroyed or lost in the way, right? There's a double fold to that. It speaks to the kings of the earth, but also speaks to us as as the as the kingdom of the priesthood. It says, "Quitau, quitau, afetna tenedalechna," for his um wrath or his anger quickly is kindled. The, the it's like nedaj is the oil, but he is to nedda to Then the last uh, verse it says, "But arusu yetamenu hulu in him all those that are faithful yaras taman yetamenu hulu yetamesegenu nacho." It says in um, you know how in some it says uh, it says what well, kiss the sun, uh, at least he at least he be angry. Here it says, and in him, all those that have uh, faith in him, trust in him, confidence, as his majesty teaches, I am not confident in the victory of good over evil. Yet nacho, that they are praiseworthy. They're worthy of the miskana. They're worthy of the habitation of the father and the son. Yovis, and we, basically, we have to get out of this paper thing. You know, saying we've been stacking papers, just looking at it very pragmatically. Um, even if, see, we control 60 percent of that economy, that would still be like even if it's the 15th or 16th largest economy in the world. And then just a matter of um, just a aggressive business, you know, tactics in the covenant to bring that from 15th or 20, 22nd down to, you know, a, a very much more manageable you're saying number you and we're not just speaking on the physical level we're speaking spiritually we're speaking psychologically you're saying we're using all of the prepositioned resources that we have in heaven and on earth you overs see they want to make you think that it's not there so you don't access it so you basically stay under the curse or come under the curse but we have to get out of paper we have to get to real economy and that is actually the fourth part of what um even leonard percival howell what he saw, Marcus Garvey picked up on it and others picked up on it. You know, a new dictionary, a, a, a new Bible. Um, let's see, what was it? A new dictionary, um, uh, uh, a new Bible. Oh, a new board of education, right? And education and fine arts, right? Those were the three news. And then it said a money mint. Now, that's interesting. That's a real interesting question or a real interesting subject matter, a money mint. Ones will say, well, we can't really do that. They're looking at all these kind of credit unions and this and that. And there's some good to that in principle, but they haven't turned to the covenant, the al first. 
and see what um, wisdom and resources are already there. And we're learning this in the Torah portions as it really touches on everything in our society and in the new and living way in Christ. This too is doable. So come out of that paper. You know, the paper system is stacking papers. It's almost like going to be like a joke when ones be talking about, oh, they're stacking papers. I mean, you better talk about some real papers like you work in a stationary shop because if you're stacking real papers in a stationary shop, you're going to be much better than all these folks just stacking worthless pieces of, of polluted um, um, uh, currency like the dollar if it's not backed by anything. You know, saying what is it backed by? You know, I mean, just think about it. Ones are getting blood diamonds from Africa, from their own promised land. You know, saying where where is their wrist? Is their inheritance? Cause she I met to what a wrist to yaga so malet. You know, saying that after a thousand, even a thousand um, years, one still has under under Yahweh's law a right of return, and that that's our own promised land right there. And that's being mismanaged. You understand by the generation gap, even in Africa, there's a generation gap over there. So this is what they're kind of afraid of on a certain level. And they already see different steps of this being done by different communities and different ones on different sort of levels. But when you look at every other nation, we are a nation as well. So, you know, the key question is what nation are you? What's your nationality? So as long as one says just a half a can American and they're stacking papers, you know what I mean? I mean, it's a joke, but really the curse is still on them. The generational curse is still on them. We got to recognize our true Ethiopian and our Hebrew. You know what I'm saying? Nationality, Beta Israel nationality, and really declare that. That is part of our human right. And yes, we're going to have to leverage the international. You understand, at a certain level, dealing with the temporal um, politics. You understand, to trample on this politics. You know what I'm saying? But still, our source, right, is Yahweh. Our source is the King of Kings and, and His Christ. Yeshua HaMoshia is INIP. So, once again, get out of paper. You got to get out of paper, you know. And it really requires a corporate so called effort, a cooperative effort. Yovas, but you know the individual eye has to align itself with Yeshua, or Isis, Yesus. You understand to the glory of the Father. Then to two or threes can come together, and 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 even the whole business level then is feasible. Cause we're out of that the curse, the curse is the distrust that that so much prevails. You understand the disorganization. That the lack of responsibility among so-called black folks and black peoples going after all these kind of Gentile ways. You know, was in, and, you know, just, I mean, it should be clear right there. I want to go into a little more detail on it, but I just wanted to make a message about get out of paper. You understand? We have to get out of that paper, at least on that financial or economic kind of currency level. Because when you look at even a lot of the resources that people still have that they can move around and diversify the investments, they don't because they trust that the way it's always been with the so-called uh, United States dollar will always be. Yovas and 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 um, the system or uh, the system of things exists right now. Laws are being you know by fraud. All kind of fraud is going on. But while we still have the opportunity, you know, Black Jacob, you know, we got to play that Black Jack. You know, we're saying, remember Jacob, you know, um, what Jacob had to do as well, even with the inheritance. But this time in Yeshua HaMoshiach, in our Black Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, in a new and a living way. Ine Rasia Dinos Teferi Neng. This is Wendem Yadon reporting for Yehuda Moan Besa Machiver for the Lion Jew Society in the Americas, the Caribbean, and throughout the world. So um, pass this message on to others, and um, hopefully, like I said, there's a couple of uh, messages that go into a little bit more detail on this from the Promise Key. Look forward to it, hopefully, on Ethiopian World Citizen, but we'll probably try to post it up on the World Net, Ethiopian World Net, in case of emergency. Remember, 911 try there, but the regular uh, Sabbath, Rastafari, sabbatical portions 
on uh, Rastafari sabbatical. So, um, Shalom Rastafari and a Melkam Fisha or Rit, a Melkam um, Simchat Torah. Shalom Rastafari and to all others repent before it's too late, of course.